Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So today I will be taking you guys along with me to get rid of this implant. It's in this arm. Um, not the baby implants, but <laughs> the birth control implant, the rod. Um, yeah, I will also be telling you a bit about my experiences with it later on in this video. But right now it's just going to be a little vlog of going to get rid of this implant. I'm not going to lie, I've been feeling really anxious these past few days leading up to this appointment just because I'm not going to be on any birth control at all it's just scary because I don't want an unplanned pregnancy at all we will obviously use condoms <laughs> but like it's just a scary thought but I'm excited at the same time I can't wait to feel alive and like myself again it's a confusing one I feel very conflicted honestly I'm just waiting for my friend she's coming with me um, I'm very anxious to go by myself. My husband couldn't come because he has his classes today. But my friend kindly took a day off work to come with me. I love her. She's not here yet. Oh, she's here. Okay. Bye-bye. Here's Scarlett. Hey. Look at her. Isn't she cute? <laughs> we are going to... Where is it? This one here. Not because we're planning a family, but... We are going to go get some food in our bellies now. We are starving. It took us about half an hour to decide what to eat though. The usual way. <laughs> Scarlett got meat on chips. What sauce did you get? I got garlic yogurt. Yeah. I got um, tahini. Mm. Nice. I got a chicken kebab with garlic yogurt and hot sauce. We are just window shopping in Takapuna right now. It's just this place with a lot of stores, and we are going to go into Little Lemon. I said that very fast. We are going into Lulu Lemon. Take you some? Oh yeah. Where is it? It's in Takapuna. Okay. Oh. Domo Bakery. Okay, we're going Domo. to Lulu Lemon. <laughs> she just broke a phone. We are at this cute little bubble tea spot getting bubble tea. And look at this wall right here. Very, very cute. Very, very aesthetic. <laughs> Instagram photos. Right here. Okay, we got our drinks. Which one did you get, girl? I got the strawberry rice cake. Rice cake? Yeah. It's an emoji? No, it's rice cake. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry. You know what you got. Get it right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and I got the chocolate Oreo. Is that it? Or am I wrong? Uh, cheese cream, honey. Oh, okay. Chocolate Oreo cheese cream. <laughs> Cream cheese. Oh, whatever. <laughs> cream cheese. I got the same thing. <laughs> She's been here before. This is my first time. So let's do a taste test. Gotta mix it. <laughs> she just spat it out. What's that face? <laughs> What's it for? <laughs> It's warm. Is it warm? Yeah, like... Okay, I'm back home now and I'll just show you guys what it looks like. It is quite tender and sore and it's bleeding and it's bruising around there. You can see. Um, the nurse told me not to like lift anything heavy or work out for the next three to two days depending how my arm is doing and she said there is a risk of infection so if it starts looking like yellowy go see a doctor asap but that's how it's doing right now how i feel is relieved like i don't know just knowing this isn't in my body anymore just makes a big difference to my mental health i think just having this in my body for nearly two years has just been a drag i don't know how to explain it it's just been hard like 
let me just explain all of my symptoms i guess or my experiences of having the implant in my arm so i got it march last year and ever since i've had it my periods have not settled so it is normal for your periods to be like not regular or just long but my periods for the past year and a half i get my period for three weeks at a time before getting to my arm i get my period every month just for four days imagine getting it three weeks and then i might sometimes i have a week break sometimes i have a two week break it's just it's just all over the place i tell you and it's just been stressful because i get heavy periods and really 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 bad cramps um before getting it i did get heavy periods anyways but they'd only last four days and the cramps would only last four days but i get cramps even when i'm not on my period which is quite weird um i forgot cramps they were so like painful that i've grown up and they make me nauseous and just so i'm sometimes i'm in so much of pain that i'm just crying the doctors even tested me to see if i had a cyst or if there was something wrong with my blood i don't know but it all comes back to this thing that was in my arm so the doctor told me like hey you should take it out and that's what i did i've been wanting to as well i actually had an appointment a few months ago that i chickened out of because it's just a security blanket but now i don't have it yeah i'm feeling great um also something else that i think kind of this around the same time i got this implant i've gained weight last year i was so sad like almost depressed i'd say and i think it was multiplied like my feelings were just more intense because of this yeah that's my experience say hi what do you want it's just you <laughs> come here i'll just go and stand for you no no no, no. i'll go for this way i'll ask i want you to say, say something yeah. oh. so close the door close the door okay let me get a haircut first at least Look at look look concerned. Why? <laughs> Why? What are you? <laughs> Just I'll screenshot that for my thumbnail. I don't want to be on the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, thanks. What for? I'm talking about my experiences with birth control. <laughs> Makes me sad. Okay, now, Harry, can you? Okay, my husband's in here. Can you tell them, do you think that this rod, like, made my mental health worse? Nah. <laughs> it's just always crazy, bro. I don't know, bro. Put this I'm putting that in there. What? What you just said to me. She's not crazy or cranky, she's... And you've known how bad my cramps yeah, are. It's really bad. Okay, you're pushing <laughs> a knob. Go away. <laughs> I wasn't exaggerating. He's just he's just different around the camera. He gets shy. And when I tell you everything I said was true, I don't know what he's on about. Even he said like you should probably get it out. Okay. <sighs> well, at least Harry bought me my comfort food for dinner. I had a pad thai, nope, I'm joking, a tom yum soup, and peanut satay kebabs. Guys, I look like a mess right now, I know. This is the next day, it is so bruised. I took my bandage off because it was bleeding a lot, and I don't want an infection, so I cleaned it and put this bandaid on, and honestly, my arm is so sore. Like, it is so sore. So sore. That's all I can say.